Hey everyone, I am here with Art Integrated Project on Subject Science. And now I want to show how Haryana and Telangana togetherly paid. This is guided by our science teachers and submitted by me. I am Sevya Sahasra of class 9th Jawaha Navodaya Vidyalai Nizam Saga Nizambad. And the topic for this video is Classification of Kingdom Animalia. Friends, do you know what is classification? The arrangement of animals and plants in taxonomy group according to their observative similarities is known as classification. In short terms, we can also say that separation of plants or animals in their respective groups is known as classification. Friends, do you think is classification important? Then my answer is yes, cause classification makes the study of organisms easier and it also helps to study evolutionary relationship among organisms. So friends, now let's learn about all of them in brief. Kingdom Animalia Kingdom Animalia I have been took this kingdom from five kingdom classification and this kingdom was classified by R.H. Whittaker. He classified the kingdom based on types of cells like prokaryotic or eukaryotic, unicellular or multicellular and mode of nutrition. And there comes types of phylum. The first phylum is phylum porifera. These are also called as sponges. Here pori means holes and fera means bearers. So there are whole bearers. Poriferans are in aquatic region and they are non-motile. It means they can't move from one place to another. And some are also in fresh water like spongilla. They are multicellular organisms. They don't have tissues or organs. They are asymmetrical. And their endoskeleton is made up of calcium carbonate or cilia which gives its body to maintain a shape. It has pickles which stop preventing predators to get inside its body. They can grow from 1 cm to 10 feet. And to protect from predators, they can change their color and also releases chemical gases. And they have water canal system for the nutrition and oxygen. The examples of these sponges are Cycon, Spongilla, Euplecta. Do you know one interesting fact? Stephen Hellenberg, who is a marine biologist, was fascinated through the sponges and he made the famous cartoon called as SpongeBob SquarePants. In this cartoon, you can know all about sponges. And the second type of phylum is phylum cinria or phylum colendrata. These cinria are unicellular and first moving organisms. They are diplobastic organisms. They have gastrovascular cavity and primitive nervous system. They have same way for anus and also mouth. And this type are also called as hyptosome. They can do sexual and asexual reproduction like fragmentation and budding. The main examples of them are jellyfish and corals and hydra and the third phylum is phylum platyhelminthes platy means flat and helminthes means warm so these are also called as flatworms the organisms in this phylum are dorsoventrally flat they most likely to be lived in aquatic region and also in humid terrestrials some also live in human bodies like endoparasites. Example, tapeworm. The longest platform was ever found is 90 feet long. They are triplobastic organisms and their first acinomates. They have organ level of organization. They can also cause parasite diseases like liver fluke in human livers. Examples are planaria, 
लीच एंड फ्लैट वॉम एंड फोर्थ फाइलम इज फाइलम नेमटोडा नेमटोडा मीन्स टाइनी एंड ऑल्सो देर कॉल्ड एस राउंड वॉम्स नेमटोड्स आर यूजली पैरासाइट्स एंड दे आर ट्रिप्लोवेस्टिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे हैव सीलम but those are pseudo coelom it means false coelom those body are bilaterally symmetrical they have organ level of organization they reproduce sexually they can also causes diseases like elephantiasis friends do you know an interesting fact the nematode called ascaris in this nematode the females are larger than males and the fifth phylum is phylum annelida annelida animals that show a very important step in animal evolution and that is segmentation they are bilaterally symmetrical and they are triploblastic and they have coelomate earthworm is an example of annelida they have also have a pores called gentile papillae they have moist and skin and can respire through their skin and the sixth phylum is phylum mollusks mollusca are mostly marine and some are fresh water i am also found in damp soil they have unsegmented and bilaterally symmetrical body they are triploblastic and have organ level of system and their body is divided into head tentacles eyes foot mantle mantle cavity vesicular mass they reproduce sexually and fertilize young ones internally and also externally the examples of them are snails slugs winkles mussels clams oysters octopus and pila and the seventh phylum is phylum arthropoda these are the first creepy crawly and also flying animals in short term they are insects they have bilaterally symmetrical body which helps in easy movement and can enhance the ability to move and see anywhere its body is differentiated as head thorax abdomen and other segments the exoskeleton of it is made up of chitin so the process of shedding their exoskeleton is called as moulting they are triploblastic and coelomates their coelom is made up of blood so these are called as homocoel they reproduce sexually by oviparous and some are viviparous also and the beautiful example of them are butterflies and the eighth phylum is phylum echinodermata echino means spine mean dermata i mean skin so the echinodermatas are spiny skinny animals their mesoderm skeleton is made up of calcium carbonate they are triploblastic and coelomate and radially symmetrical animals and they have the organ level of organization they are mostly aquatic and marine they have water vascular cavity which helps them in transportation and respiration and it also enhances the locomotion in them the examples of them are starfish holturai plus ophiura and antedon and the ninth phylum is phylum protochordata the protochordata are the first formed chordates they are marine organisms they are triploblastic and bilaterally symmetrical they have organ system level of organization they are also coelomates and example of it is herdemania do you know one thing guys when herdemania is larval it has notochorda it means backbone but after it stays near a rock to get a support or else to take a balance it means the protochorda are those who have notochords when it's larval only but after it will be restricted so these are also called as urochordots example of them are herdemania ascidia kinial amphius and the last phylum is phylum vertebrates 
vertebrates or animals that have a backbone or spinal cord those examples are fishes frogs snakes lions and also we so the vertebrates are classified into several types so let's look all about them in brief the first are pisces second amphibians third reptilians fourth aves fifth mammalia firstly fishes these are totally aquatic they have fins to swim gills to breathe and tail to move it has fins like petrol fin dorsal fin pelvin fin anal fin and caudal fin which is also called as tail fin its endoskeleton offers structural support to the body and it is made up of cartilage or bone the examples of cartilage boned fishes are shark dog fish and torpedo they can reproduce sexually and fishes can also communicate and some of them are poisonous and other are good and fishes are also the rich source of protein for humans friends have you heard this fact that the catfish stores its eggs in its mouth and have you heard about this disney animated movie finding nemo in this movie all the characteristics are under water and those all are fishes and the second are amphibians amphibians are animals which came first from water to land here amphi means dual and bians means life so they have dual life they can live in water and also on soil and their characteristics are their skin is smooth and moist their they have mucus glands which keeps their skin moist they have limbs developed from the first time in amphibians they are cold blooded organisms they have two chambered heart in adults they have three chamber the third kind of animals are reptilia when organisms moved from water to land they adapted the land and reptilia are the animals which can crawl dinosaurs are reptilia which ruled millions of years ago now we can see them in the form of snakes turtles chameleons crocodiles dragon flying lizards they evolved by heart and abrasions they are cold blooded animals except crocodile all have three chambered heart but crocodile has four chambered heart they can lay eggs and their eggs are heart covered shells to protect them the embryo from dehydration they also have scales and the fourth are aves aves means birds they have feathers to provide insulation and warmth to their body they can also fly and the last are mammalians mammalians are the creatures which have hair and that is made up of keratin protein and this hair is used for insulation waterproofing camouflage defense and to also adapt the climate and the best examples of mammalians are none other than we